SR54 is the national code of practice for the energy efficient retrofit of dwellings. Well, the document is designed for anybody working in the retrofit industry, whether they be installers, architects, specifiers, designers, engineers. And what's in it is guidance on installation of retrofit projects, general building science, and also guidance on management of retrofit projects. So the intention is that users can refer to the relevant sections of the document that apply to the specific project that they're working on. So they have guidance and some advice on what they should be doing. Where, where you've got the subfloor ventilation maintained the ventilation? We would dip into it for an area where we might be unfamiliar with the technology, something that is novel, a new technology that, that, that is coming in or that we haven't been involved in. Some of the low energy retrofit measures that are utilised are relatively recent innovations and in many cases they can lead to unforeseen consequences. For example, air tightness can lead to excessive moisture buildup, so you have to allow for additional ventilation or particular ventilation. These kind of unforeseen consequences are flagged in the SR54 and in that way when a, when a builder or a designer is, is, is in, engaged in an area with, with which they're unfamiliar, it's a great to have this as a reference to, to dip into and they, SR54 will flag a lot of the pitfalls for you. Um, since 2014 there's been a, a huge increase in the amount of people getting insulation done to their home. Uh, they've become very aware of the SEAI grant program and how well the insulation works. The external insulation can give a, a 35 to 40 percent reduction in your heating cost but that also is in conjunction with your attic insulation your, and your boiler efficiency. Well, SR54 has been a new um, set of regulations that were brought in to, into the insulation industry. They have taken it to a finer detail. It's um, cold bridging, thermal looping, all these uh, facts that a lot of people are unaware of. SR54 has now brought that to everybody's attention. Well, the main purpose of it is to provide technical guidance on retrofit, general building science, and also management of retrofit projects. NSA, I felt that there's a lot of good information out there across different areas of the industry, but nobody's really compiled it all together in one location before. And with the amount of money that's being spent on retrofit measures at the moment, we believe that it would be good to have this document there. About 0.27. It's very difficult for general practitioners to be expert in every aspect of design and construction of every different type of building. In this case, we're looking at a specialist area, which is the retrofit of buildings, retrofit of dwellings with a, with a key focus on low energy, energy conservation. SR54 is geared for that and it will, it will guide someone who may not have a, a, a complete expertise in that area through the, the principles of, of the work they're doing. It will highlight some of the potential hazards, problems and will identify ex performance expectations. If you don't have the technical guidance, you're probably looking at people taking a lot of intuitive decisions. And intuitive decisions are not acceptable anymore. We have, we have energy performance is very technology driven. It's very performance driven. Intuition, sales talk, greenwash are the last things that you, you need to go by. And SR54 gives you a checklist and a guidance to work your way through the, the, the cloudy stuff and arrive at hardcore facts as to what, what to watch out for. And now it's time to push, push it out among, the, among my colleagues, among the architects and engineers and builders of Ireland.